What's up everyone? Thank you for tuning in. This is Jay from the Cryptoart channel and in this video I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite projects called Zillica. Now before I get started I just want to say that nothing in my video is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor so please everyone do your own research. Use my research on top of that. I mean use my research as your lead, your guide to steer you towards one path. All right. Okay, so let's get to it. So, this update was done yesterday, but you know I forgot to make a video about it. So I'm making it today. So here we have Amrit Kumar. For those of you that don't know, he is the CEO of Zilliqa, and this is what he said: every every other day, there's a new project being launched in Zilliqa. And you know, you know what? He's not lying. A sign of a growing and healthy ecosystem. And this new partnership is with uh, demons or D monsters. Uh, so they're actually pretty good first of its kind so with them you can actually have nfts and earn rewards just by holding it let's actually take a look here it is this is their website demons.world they're reinventing nfts demons is a decentralized collectible nft universe spawned from the zillica blockchain Here's some of their art right here. Well, of course, probably depicting Zil uh, Godzilla. Look at that. It just looks like Godzilla. Anyways, you get this, these kind of quality art and basically make money from it just by holding it. Amazing. See, the idea of NFTs is growing, guys. It's not just digital art anymore. It's future of finance as well. DeFi is the future of finance, according to Brian Brooks. Anyways, yield rewards for holding. The demons use DeFi to yield you rewards. The first of its kind. These NFTs come with their own end-to-end -end financial ecosystem. How? Sow your NFTs and reap the big rewards. Your demons will earn you for you simply by laying it in your wallet. And it's kind of like staking your crypto. You earn yield just by allowing your crypto to be used by others. And of course, you earn rewards from the fees, and this is no different. All you need to do as the owner is hold and claim the rewards in the form of DMZ, periodically. That is crazy. And there's more to it than that. So, your NFTs can actually level up. So when Sierra said level up, they listened. <laughs> Sierra, the, the singer. Uh, so the owner of Demons allows a person to make their NFTs climb levels of hierarchy each demon or each nft comes with an assigned level which is level zero by default uh, leveling up these nfts opens doors o opens doors to multiple privileges at each level holy crap that's crazy they're gonna make this thing very addicting i can already see that because it's like having a video game almost so each level up unlocks a new riveting feature. For example, rewarding yielding, uh, name changing, voting rights, and more. Leveling up also increases their resale value of the NFT. Stepping up a level requires a certain number of DMZ. That is crazy. So not only will your coin or your NFT make you money, but you can use the money that it earns to level itself up. So it's basically... It's like a life of its of its own. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure they have like artificial intelligence embedded in this, and some levels of form. And I wouldn't be surprised if they add artificial intelligence in the in their NFTs later on, because I have seen a video where you have been a smart NFT. It was in a form of Darth Vader, and the person was having a conversation with it. So, yeah, this is pretty crazy, guys. Uh, so to have your own art making money for you, and then it allows you to have it level up giving you more um, access to a lot of utilities like the idea of voting as well so one of the issues right now of course in our geopolitical world is that the idea of basically voting is almost it's a shit show for lack of a better word um all, i'm pretty sure the votes don't matter anymore they're just being voted in by the the ones with you know power the ones with the money because you know when you have money it talks so by allowing voting into the ecosystem that gives the community more governance towards where to take the project 
Now, that is definitely a good thing because now the people have the uh, illusion of power in their hands or in their mind. But in the end, the ones that are winning are basically the elites that control the whole idea of blockchain because uh, all this was just basically to track us. This digital dollar, digital anything. Once it's put in the blockchain, boom, you're trapped forever. All right, so voting portal. Oh, look at that, Zilliqa. So Demons is a community-driven project. It is facilitated by decentralized governance on key exchanges. Improvements, I mean key changes. Improvements and strategies via a portal where community members can cast their votes. Our innovative voting system fosters promises to foster effective engagement for participants such as yourselves. The voting portal will be deployed to determine NFT community ratings and feedback, and also collectively craft the future story of demons. Oh wow! You can also name your own demons too. So it's this is like a Tamagotchi, um, a virtual baby. <laughs> That's exactly what it, this is. So by like having that in someone's mind, they're basically going to be a little bit more addicted to this, taking care of it as if it was their own. On top of that, it makes them money. So why wouldn't they want to like take care of it? Now you can name it. So once you purchase an NFT, you can name it. As an owner, you will be part of the blockchain fabric forever. Oh, possessing, possessing. Whew. That's a strong word. Piece of what the heck? Richarte. Retorte. Richarchi. Retorte. I don't even know how to say it. All right, <laughs> your NFT helps you prepare for a thorough digital economy by giving you an ageless digital identity uh, that's that's kind of scary because not only are these nfts behaving as if it's a life it's a, on its own you're also naming it giving it more purpose in the world so now imagine you name this demon not godzilla toby your new name is toby so you say toby boom that nft just like wakes up and like activates in the virtual world and be like yo what's up Can you imagine geez all right wow there's a resale marketplace too holy crap so we want the nft marketplace experience to be as convenient for you as possible that's why demons has its very own trading and resale platform skip out the traditional fees and hassles needed to register on multiple platforms and get set up on demons today geez this is kind of like Trading trading cards back in the days, you know, I try to make all these deals with other people Like let's say you have a mint condition first edition Charizard card and it's holographic Yes, when you have a card like that, I don't know if you guys experience having one. I personally I've never had one I've seen it and the the feeling it gives you when you own something like that. It's like your king or queen or something because man when Pokemon was the thing back in the days when I first came to Canada Charizard, when it came to the trading cards, was the card. It was the card to have. And whoever owned it, man, that person was like living high, walking high. <laughs> but um, but yeah, having this resale marketplace just basically replicates those old times when you know you used to trade for something. You trade your trading cards. So this is definitely a good thing, you know. Um, it does give you that or give us that nostalgia feeling of trading trading cards so I think that's how they're going to win a lot of people and these are their partners Zillica, Zillpay, Zillhive, Qvote, Zillswap and Enigma of course you know what that's six partners most of them are in the Zillica blockchain or ecosystem um, I do see Zillica as a very, very promising project. As a matter of fact, you have the NASDAQ acknowledging Zillica as an altcoin with solid potential in 2021. That is the NASDAQ, guys. NASDAQ. Only like big projects go there. And of course, you got to have a long list of, um, or a big amount of money pool to get in there. So NASDAQ also have has looked at other coins as well, like BAT, Link, uh, Chia, Chili's, Holo, VeChain as well. So definitely take a look into those projects. And remember that it's not financial advice. But anyways, in terms of Zillica, um, they are 
definitely growing. You, you even had the CEO saying that every other day a new project is being implemented in their ecosystem. And on top of that, they're not Demons is not the only NFT deal that they've made. They've made a deal with Polaris Sports as well to do NFTs for their basically their soccer players or football players. Now, soccer isn't as big in the West Western world as it is in the Europe European worlds or European countries. But um, I can definitely see NFTs moving towards. Actually, they, they already have it um, for N for NBA. NBA Top Shots is already doing that. But I, you know what? In terms of Zillica and NFTs, I can see them doing more N NFT projects. There was um, a talk in the past of them doing real estate. So, and the idea of NFTing a real estate. So that way you can sell or buy real estate much easier. That's already there. This, they started doing that with Proppy already. And remember that it's not financial advice. But yeah, if you do look into it, trust me, there's a lot of profit making potential in there. And that is not financial advice. So yeah, in terms of football, um, there is a big um, fan base in Europe. So by Zilliqa opening that space to them, that's going to grant them a lot of opportunities to make money because now more and more people are going to be looking into the Zillica ecosystem as well as acquiring the Zillica Z-I-L or Z-I-L uh, token to acquire all these other coins because you are going to have to swap eventually to acquire a certain coin that's offered in their ecosystem. That's just how it works. And also to note, guys, is that it is the protocol of the blockchain or the project that will attract more customers, investors in their ecosystem. So keep that in mind. So if you have, let's say, a project like Zillica, uh, and it's an it's an own uh, it's its own blockchain that you know offers a lot of solution to other projects out there, then most likely that is a winning project. And it's a good one to have. Reason why is because all these other projects are going to sit on top of it in order to leverage its utility, its protocol. So imagine you put your, all your money in a project that only has one utility, like sells NFTs or basically just like a deflationary token. It's not going to be able to compete with a project like Zillica. That's just, I'm being straight up with you. If the, the coin or project does not have the protocol that helps other projects basically caters to the new economy then you know what um it's best that you look into other projects that are helping the new economy in many many ways such as providing liquidity privacy so decentralization scalability and all that stuff so yeah that is something to keep in mind when you are doing your crypto research is that a lot of these projects out there um they're kind of scammy uh, well, I'm not going to lie myself. I am putting some money into these kind of tokens, but I do not see a long-term potential for any for a lot of them because they're just in it for the pump and dump, to be honest. And I can see that. And of course, if you follow me, I'm going to let you know firsthand which ones I think is a scammy token and which one have really, really great potential. Now, keep in mind, there are coins out there that, you know, that are being used to like you know move the masses in and those are basically those scammy meme tokens so they do have some utilities when it comes to mass adoption but in the end you want to go for the coins the projects that have utilities so those are the ones that are gonna win but anyways is all I have for uh, Zillica today uh, if you did find this informative towards the Zillica project or Zillica ecosystem please do press like share and subscribe as it does help the channel grow and also comment down below see what you think uh, i want to know what you're thinking about zillica because you know it, it is one of my favorite projects out there and yeah that is all i have thank you so much for listening um yeah stay tuned for more videos